this video we're going to take a look at uh, numbered lists in Word 2016 and they are on the home tab in the paragraph group and uh, the option is right here and uh, if you want to do a multi-level list uh, it's this option over here but that's uh, another video so you don't even need to go up here and I rarely do there's an auto text feature in Word where if you type one in a period and a space it automatically uh, converts that into a numbered list. You see that this is now on. It was not on when I started. And it also um, indents the list a little bit. A quarter of an inch to get to the number and another quarter of an inch to get to whatever text it is that you're going to type. And the little autocorrect lightning bolt comes up here with your autocorrect options. And if you don't want to do that, you can turn that off. Um, or undo it for this time. Uh, you can turn it off completely and it'll stay off until you turn it back on again or you can actually go in here and control your auto format options and you'll get this dialog box that has lots of options for doing auto formatting so here it is and we have uh, replace as you type and there's an option here for automatic numbered list. There's also one for automatic bulleted list. We talked about that in a different video. And so you can turn this off and it will not do numbered lists until you turn it back on again. Um, I think this is something you probably want to leave on. Um, you know, most of the time if you type a number in a period in space, you're at the beginning of doing a list. So uh, that's where it is. Uh, the other way to get there is also just to go to your file tab and click on options and this would be under the proofing options and then autocorrect options and this is the same dialog box that we saw a minute ago so let's just cancel that cancel that and we're back here to our numbered list so you type whatever you want for item number one and you hit enter and it'll change to number two and you type what you want and you do that and then when you finally are done hit enter once to go to a new line it'll still number it but if you hit enter a second time uh, then it goes back to ordinary text. I'm back to the ordinary margin for the rest of my text and uh, there's no numbers anymore. Uh, a really good reason for doing a numbered list like this is if you've got your list all done and then you decide you forgot something, you want to put something in. Uh, so if I want a new number three item, I just go to the end of number two and hit enter and type in whatever I want for item number three and it automatically renumbers everything for you. So uh, if you didn't take advantage of this numbered list feature you'd have to go in and redo all the numbers yourself and that would just be a pain. Um, if you want to change the formatting, uh, the indentation, you can go up here it's just like changing anything else you know I can grab this one here and I can move it in and there's a limit to how far right I can go on that because it's going to bump into the text. Uh, if I want to take the text here and move it uh, I gotta grab the house. You probably need to grab the top part of the house here to make this work. And if you want to move both of them at the same time, you grab the basement of the house and uh, they will both move. Okay. So you can set that to whatever you want. Uh, one thing to be careful of is when you're you're selecting this stuff down here, uh, if you accidentally um, select not working right now but sometimes you can accidentally select this stuff and um, you know start clicking and dragging and if you do uh, it'll end up moving everything for you and uh, that's something you probably don't want. Um, there are some other uh, options here uh, if you do uh, there's several options for uh, numbers if I do one and a right parenthesis in a space, you know, then it'll do uh, an automatic numbered list for me. If I do one, uh, a parenthesis, one parenthesis in a space, uh, it'll do them like that, which is another common format for numbered lists. Uh, you can also do letters of the alphabet, capital letter, and let's uh, do that again. Uh, and you've got the same options here for capital letters. If I do parentheses, you know, and stuff like that. Um, you can also do Roman numerals. Uh, you can do one period or an I period, I guess, in a space, and now it'll do capital Roman numerals for you. Uh, you can also do lowercase Roman numerals and one period space and uh, not one, it's a lowercase I. And then uh, we'll back up and delete that. So 
there's quite a few autocorrect options. Let's um, select these four lines here. And let's go up to our paragraph group and let's go to the numbering button here. And uh, we got some choices down here at the bottom. Uh, we can change the list level uh, so you can indent it and it's got, you know, basically it looks like it goes through three choices here as you indent further and further levels. So it does a number, a letter, Roman numeral, number, letter, Roman numeral, and so on. Um, so if I wanted to change that uh, to this, I uh, notice that also gets indented a little bit as well. Uh, I'm going to undo that to send it back where it was before. Uh, another way to do that is to click on the increase indent button up here and you click on that and it will just, uh, actually that does not do the same thing does it because I've got all of them selected. Um, let's try that again. Okay now I'm back where I started. Uh, but if I have one of them selected like that and I click on the increase indent level then it will change this to a sub item underneath the previous item. So a sub item would be the letter A and let's undo that. Uh, let's go back here, click on the down arrow and uh, define a new number format. Uh, if uh, for some reason uh, you don't want the period or the parentheses, uh, you, let's say you wanted uh, a couple of hyphens there. Okay, well you can go in here and you can edit it. So I delete the period, I added two hyphens, I click on OK and everything in this list now is a number followed by two hyphens and a tab character. Uh, one last thing I want to look at here is uh, if you sometimes uh, your numbers may not look the same as your text uh, and that happens if uh, actually let's select the first line here and let's just make it bold okay and now I've got a bold one but none of the other numbers are bold okay and that looks funny and if I make it italic then it's bold and italic and all the other numbers are ordinary text um, the number, just like with bulleted list, uh, the number here gets its formatting from the paragraph mark at the end. So the paragraph mark at the end is bold and italic, so this will be bold and italic. So if I select just the paragraph mark, and I turn off bold, and I turn off italic, then it goes back to normal text. And now I've got a numbered list where all the numbers are formatted the same, which is what I think you always want when you're doing something like this. Um, they also get their color information. So if I go up here and choose another color, when I've got the paragraph mark selected, that will change the color of the number as well. So you'd have to go in here and basically do this one at a time. Actually, let's let's uh, try using our format painter here. So here I'm on this line, I do my format painter, and then I go down here and uh, select those two, and the format painter apparently does not work in this situation. Let me try it again and it does not. So that's one of the uh, few times where the format painter has not worked for me. So you'd have to go in and you would have to go and change these uh, one at a time and I'm not sure why you want them to be a different color but uh, if they are formatted mostly what you want to do is make them all back to whatever the text is so which is you probably want black ordinary unformatted text. So usually it'll be what we did up here. If something looks funny you know it's the wrong color and uh, you want it to be the same color and you don't want it to be bold or italic, uh, then you just select that paragraph mark, turn off bold, turn off italic, and pick the color that you want for it, and you're good to go. So um, that, and if also if you have ordinary text, let me just type in one more example here. So I've got some ordinary text that is not already a numbered list, and I select it. Um, so I select all that, and then I go up here and I click on a numbered list. Actually, I don't even click on the down arrow. I just click on the button to the left of the arrow, and it will create a numbered list. Now, because this was right below the other stuff here, it keeps on numbering with six. And, you know, if, if I wanted this to be a new list, which would look kind of funny, I think, right here. Um, if I hit enter a couple of times. So if I want this to be a new list, um, I can go up here and I can click on the down arrow, and I can set the numbering value and I can have this list start with whatever I want to start with. So let's say I want another list that starts with one. And so that's how you can have multiple uh, lists that all have their own numbering scheme. Uh, sometimes Word tries to be smart. And even though you've got some other text in here, it might start this with five, six, seven, eight. And if that's the case, then you'll just have to go up here and uh, go down and set the numbering value. So uh, I didn't have that selected, so that's why it's grayed out. So. Uh, that's an overview of how you do uh, numbered lists, and they really had to call them ordered lists because.
as you can have